chapter number seven. In this chapter, we will discuss the molecular docking studies and autodock tools. Autodock Vena Gold is molecular docking. There are many types of molecular docking. Protein protein molecular docking analysis, protein ligand molecular docking analysis, flexible docking, blind docking, targeted docking, and rigid docking. And you know all of those, I hope. First, we have autodock. It's a very beautiful tool. It is a freely available tool and very cited tool. But we also have very good tools like MOE and Yasara, Gold, Autodog, Ardog Vena, and many other tools we have for molecular docking. Autodog is an automated blind docking tool and can also be used for targeted docking studies. It is designed to predict how small molecules, including substrates or drug candidates, bind to a receptor having three dimensional structure. Autodog is not intended to perform protein protein docking. Our dog is not for protein protein dock. For protein protein docking, usually we use Gramax, Patch Dock, Fire Dock, Head Dock, and many more. Our dog implements the genetic algorithm. Autodoc application. Autodoc has applications in X ray crystallography, structure based drug design, lead optimization, virtual screening, combinatorially, combinatorial library design, chemical mechanism studies. And we have Autodoc 4 requirements. We should we need input files in .pdb preparing the protein. If you can understand it, you can you can run this tool without Pyrex. So please be focused if you want to learn about that. Just download it and install it. It's a bit tricky, but it's a good tool. So the uh, the easy form of this tool is Pyrex. To upload the .pdb file of RASF2, we use the option of file and then read molecule. Like in when you read the molecule, you will upload the molecule, the three-dimensional predicted structure. Read molecule in this sense that the tool just read all the parameters, all the amino acids, all the capabilities of the predicted structure if there is an error they, the tool will let you know so read molecule and upload the structure of rasf2 you can see in figure number 81 after that add hydrogen items why we add hydrogen atoms usually in predicted three dimensional structure there is no hydrogen item if there will be actually you know imagine the structures of uh, amino acid linear structures like if we have three carbons one first alpha carbon has carboxyl group and the last carbon has amino group and the centered carbon has two hydrogens, one on the right side, one on the left side. And if we have those 10 carbons in a linear shape, then first one alpha carbon has carboxyl or amino group. And the last one has the alternative one. And the remaining eight carbons has hydrogen on right and le left. If they don't have any other uh, item like choroline or like any other oxygen or maybe sulfur. So the long story short is this. Usually we have so many hydrogens. So if there is so many hydrogens with the three dimensional predictor, structure the software will be very heavy software has to do much work and everyone knows about the hydrogen structures of hydrogen so usually we skip that so it's an important step to add hydrogen items for the experiment usually the protein structure do not have hydrogen items and it is significant for reliable results to add the hydrogen items in the protein molecule in figure number 82 you can see from added you just go to the hydrogen and just click the add button you can also use the option of manage polar a uh, non-polar items file.pdb and other available parameter right protein okay after that you can see on the this left side you can you have many options and when you will just click here you can hide the protein why you are going to hide the protein you have to hide the protein to have a good look to the ligand you want to dock with that protein otherwise if the ligand is small one or maybe on the back side of the protein and you can see there are so many residues and items and bonds showed on this protein so you cannot have a good look to the ligand and you cannot prepare the ligand when you will have the protein on the screen right click on the molecules at the dashboard and click to hide the protein the purpose of hiding the protein is to make the been clear for the ligand preparation to avoid the mistake the user can skip this step but it's better to perform after that you have to prepare the ligand you have to open the ligand from the option ligand input open all files and choose the file you want to open before that i strongly suggest you to minimize the ligand also if you are going to do the experiment for reliable results and if you will not minimize the ligand maybe your ligand will break down the stereochemistry will not good the torsion angles may be disturbed or many other problems you have to face so please minimize the ligands before the experiment first of all and after that you can uh, you can minimize the ligand through chemdraw ultra you can minimize the ligand through ucsf chimera you can minimize the ligand through moe you can minimize the ligand through 
Avogadro rose. So these tools are you can utilize to minimize the ligand. Usually the FDA approved drug molecule screen library to identify a molecule, novel design molecule or molecule reported in the literature are used as a ligand. Depends on the nature of the experiment. Define torsion angles. So if when we will define the torsion angles, it will lead to rotate the bonds or not to rotate the bond. And if we will rotate the bonds, it will lead to flexible docking. And if we will make the bonds rigid, it will lead to rigid docking. So ligand torsion trees set number of torsions to choose the number of rotatable bonds that move the fewest or most items. The defining of the torsion also depends on the nature of experiment. Everything depends on the nature of experiment because sometimes someone wants just blind docking, someone wants targeted docking, someone wants flexible docking. Depends on the nature of protein or nature of ligand or nature of experiment. Choose the uh, number of rotatable bonds and move the fewest or most items. Depends on the experiment. It is better to make all rotatable bonds to zero for rigid docking. If you want to perform the rigid docking, you will have to make all the rotatable bonds zero as I already explained you or for flexible docking, you have to make the bond rotatable. So when the bonds can rotate, it is like dynamic of the protein and you will have better results. Generally, autodoc is considered better for the rigid docking. So it is better to make all the rotatable bonds to non rotative. If you want to do rigid docking, please use autodoc 4. After that, you have to save the ligand file into PDB QT. Okay what is PDBQT? Next question. You already, I think you have three questions now. First one, what is GRAVY? And the second one, why we minimize the proteins? And the third one, what is PDBQT? What is the difference between PDB and PDBQT file? And why PDBQT file is important here in this experiment? You have to find these questions and then we will discuss the answers in our next lecture. Then you have to hide the ligand as we hide the protein to prepare the molecule again. You can also add the water molecules depends on the nature of your experiment. Like if the experiment is in nature, the protein is present in cytoplasm, then you have to add the water molecules. And if the protein is in is a membranous protein, then you have to generate the lipid layer around the protein depends on the nature of protein and then we have a grid box molecule the, if the grid box in actual define the blind and targeted docking if you want to perform the targeted docking and you know the binding domain is from serine 17 to alanine 20 or maybe 25 you just generate the grid box on that specific residue and if you don't know about the targeted binding domain then you have to perform the blind docking and you have to cover the whole protein with the grid box and there is three dimensions of that grid box y axis z axis and x axis sorry x axis y axis and z axis then you have to prepare the grid box and you also have to prepare the grid box file so then you have to prepare the like uh, log file that we know that we usually call log file you have to make it uh, the log file by just changing the x axis y axis and z axis dimensions and you also have to specify specify the spacing between these axes depends the depends on the grid box and you have to save the grid box in log file here you can see how the we are going to save this file you can see this that if you will follow this queries in all the headings or all the steps you you can perform the experiment like first you have to go to grid then there is an output option then there is a save gpf option grid parameter file then you have to save as grid dot gpf the extension of the file should be gpf gps okay we the file format for the grid file should be dot gpf after that you have to prepare the parameter file docking then you have to follow this query this code docking then you have to go to macromolecule set rigid file name and choose grid dot pdb qt after that you have to specify the ligand and it docking ligand choose and all these steps you have to follow to just specifying the ligand then we have to perform the docking experiment and depends which docking algorithm you will use Lamarckism genetic algorithm and many others but the most fav most favorite ones and the most cited ones and the most successful ones are genetic algorithm and Lamarckism again I will say you have to know how these algorithms work I just give you a hint that this genetic algorithm then we have genetic algorithm genetic algorithms depends on all the natural selection theory and the genetics of the biological system the, uh, the researcher just draws 
derive this concept and apply here depends on the experiment which ex which algorithm you are going to use genetic algorithm or Lamarckism algorithm then you have to set the parameters and default parameters are much more better to perform here we also have Lamarckism genetic algorithm if you want to use it and you have to save the results then you have to run the autodoc like run run auto grid and launch okay from here then you have the docking result here is the results you have to prepare the you will get the results in dlg file dot dlg file and you have to prepare your pdb file i i hope you know how to prepare the pdb file first you have to copy the ligand from the file dlg file and then paste the ligand in the receptor file of dot pdb file of receptor protein and you can visualize it you can also use this uh, parameter like like this one in figure number 100 analyze confirmations play ranked by energy click and click on and sign and then you have the show information right complex then you will have the information of the complex like in this tall bar in this bar in this box and you can analyze all the binding energy ligand efficiency usually you will see you saw the different parameters in the table of the published papers there are so many values you can extract the values from here first you can align the so align all the ligands with their minimum binding energy will be at the top sorted like that and then you will you can analyze it much more better so autodog vina is an automated procedure for predicting the interaction of of the ligands with the biomolecular targets you know about that what docking is in actual here we will install it like this one you can see in figure 101 starting autodoc then you have these two options and you can open that one you can open it on linux and windows both so the interface of autodog is like this one it this is the page or you can say interface of uh, autodog vena it is similar like autodog if you remember the autodog interface same we have to add the protein then we have to add the ligand and we have to prepare and everything so first we are going to prepare the protein it's the protein preparation of ras f2 and uh, as you guys know we were working on ras f2 in this experiment the ras f2 predicted structure was utilized here for this autodog vena molecular docking analysis in figure 105 you can see that how to read a molecule there just click on the file button and you have a drop down window just read the molecule and you have the molecule like this way on the autodog vena interface as shown in figure 1.6 and then you can move to figure 1.7 where you can see that uh, you have to add the geometries here or no geometry as we discussed earlier sometimes we need water molecule hydrogen bonds and everything you can also color the residues and items of ras f2 as shown in figure 108 and then there is a query we have to solve in as mentioned in figure number 109 adding of hydrogen items as we discussed in autodog tools that we have to add the hydrogen bond and why we have to add the hydrogen bond we are sometimes we have to add or usually we add hydrogen bonds as we already discussed in our lecture then we are on repair residues sometimes we have some damaged residues like uh, some residues just lose their hydrogen sometimes their sulfur sometimes their side chains are damaged some items so we usually repair the uh, items or the missing items for the reliable results as shown in figure number 110 repairing the missing items you just have to you can see the drop down windows where from where you can fix that in this uh, uh, ras f2 protein there is no residue to repair after that we are on figure one 111 that is the saving of protein we have to save the uh, protein that we prepare after adding the hydrogen bond and repairing the residues in pdb file on our desktop or the folder you want to save after that ligand should be prepared for liber ligand preparation we should we first have ligand then input and open the ligand file uh, that you choose to dock with the respective protein depends on the your experiment and from where you got the ligand depends on the experiment and then you have this uh, window there where you have the ligand and as you uploaded the ligand there will be some cramp command prompt values you just have to okay it and move further ligand then you have to go open the ligand then you have to go to the torsion tree and uh, then you have to click on detect root so you can have the root of the specific ligand for working defining the torsion the question is what is torsion torsion angle every amino acid has angles i remember we discussed in detail in our class that uh, 
how the different amino uh, in amino acid how the different items and electrons just repel or attract the other items or charges so positive attract the negative and repel the positive one so because of this if there is a positive charge on an item just discuss just imagine to understand if there is an item that has positive charge and on the right side there is an other item that has positive charge and on left side there is another item that has negative charge so there is a tension between all the residues so because of this tension and attraction and repelling every item has specific torsion angle so the we should have to fix these angles here we have torsion count number of rotatable bonds should be 4 out of 32 and depends on your experiment you can change it because they, here we have so many parameters according to the nature of experiment after that we have figure number 117 setting number of torsions how many torsions you need you want to do blind docking or oh, sorry rigid docking or flexible docking depends on this one torsion angles then you have to save that ligand into pdb qt file there is a pdb file that has all, all the coordinates of a protein then we have pdb qt file that qt file is has the charges every item and residue has charge in that file but in pdb file there is only coordinate but in pdb qt file we also have the charges like on alanine we have positive spores on proline we have negative then on tryptophan negative on isoleucine positive and the carbon of alpha carbon of isoleucine is negative depends it's just an example then we have to open the ras pdb ras f2 pdb file that we saved in our desktop just go on the macro molecule and you have a new window bar of choose or open you can choose it if you did not save uh, save it and just have in the in your auto dog after hiding then you can choose it and if you save it just open the file in pdb that already present on your desktop after that you have to add the charges on uh, adding charges and merging hydrogen so the protein has the receptor protein has specific face or specific shape for the interaction there we we are we perform these all steps to, for the reliable results and if there is some mistakes then the results will not be much reliable and there will be a, all other experiments has ambiguous results after that we have to set a grid box grid box has three dimension x axis y axis and z axis and this new window just has x axis y axis and z axis and also at center y center and z centers and these has different values that will cover the protein for further docking oh here we have uh, in figure number 122 we have the grid box and the values here you can see different types of tires like 100 100 100 if we will move these tires i cannot move here because it's a figure but in actual if we will move these fire these we can move this tire and then we will we can change this grid box and here we are performing the blind docking that's why the grid box is on complete protein and if there is a, a targeted docking and you know about the specific residues and where it is then you can make the grid box at that coordinate okay now we have configured dot type file that we have to generate in autodoc vena case or also in autodoc tools case as you remember in the last lecture so how we have to make this in text file configuration text file in which we have receptor name that is rasf2.pdbqt ligand name abc.pdbqt we have three centers and the size of the centers we also have to mention that we have here in our grid box you can see that after that we have uh, autodoc vena for linux so here we have the command prompt we have to write the query and uh, that query is vena.exe con2- dash and uh, configure config config dot conf dot text and log file we just upload the configure file and log file here you can see in figure number number 125 that when we wrote the query here and enter what we got after that we will move on okay after this we have results here all the results like we have the affinity in kilocalorie per mole then we have rmsd minimum and maximum rmsd so same values you will get by pyrex when you just read uh, when you just study from the pyrex after that we have another tool gold it's a purchase tool and you have to pay annually for the license some people have this tool it's a very good document software and uh, once we have that getting started with gold first you have to install it so we have this uh, interface of gold here in figure 127 figure number 128 we just have to load the protein from that option we just go to the options and here we have select or select protein we will click it and we will add the protein here in figure number 129 we just okay then we just have protein preparation similarly when we prepare the uh, proteins in auto dog tools and our dog vina we also also have to prepare the protein here for protein preparation after that we have adding hydrogen items as we did earlier because usually we don't have hydrogen items on
on the three dimensional predicted structures and this windows will explain you the all the steps if you have this book you can just see it and perform the steps your docking will run automatically and here we have the description why we are going to add the hydrogen items and how these steps will work and this 10 arm strong will be the grid box of that specific amino uh, for that specific protein if you know the uh, binding site uh, for targeted docking if you know the binding site you can specifically select the residues and 10 arm strong grid will cover that one and if you don't know about that that then you may have to go for the blind docking in which you have to increase to 50 armstrong or 30 armstrong depends on the nature of your experiment then you have to select the algorithm it has many algorithms usually we use gold score and chem score to cross verify we use chem score but in start we use gold score now we have to add the ligands in this we can add ligand one more than one ligands but here we in our dog vena we use the ligand regora vena maybe some drug so the same uh, ligand and we are going to use in this gold and uh, here we have this dot mol2 file mol file of this ligand we will use this one for our experiment and then we start ligand ligand loaded after loading the ligand for gold score and chem score we have to add the scoring function which scoring function we are going to use or the fitness score you can say we will use a global option here for this one and all the information is presented here yes then you uh, select the score as i mentioned earlier that was we use gold score and then we use chem score for our cross verification of results scoring function it is gold score and then cross verifying scoring function is chem score so we can uh, have two results two different scoring function results and we can compare the ligands suppose if we, we are working on more than 10 or 100 or 1000 or 20 ligands then we have the score of gold score and chem score and we can analyze which one is the better one then we have to save the result and then we have to annotate the result or analyze the result these are this is a result file in dot log here you can see in figure 142 finished gold run it's a good software and easy software just on click base when you have the software you just have to read the option like load protein have to load the protein then there will be an option of add hydrogen items you have to add the hydrogen items then you have to select the algorithm you have to prepare the ligand you have to minimize the ligand everything is written there you just have to click it and uh, you have to select the scoring function you have to select the algorithm and then you just have to click on the job run button and you will have the results and you know how to gener uh, generate results then you have to sort all the results because these results will be in unsorted value uh, angle unsorted values like maybe the value least value is not at the top it's somewhere if you have 100 uh, ligands and the least value is for ligand number 55 it will not be on the one slot it will be like one two three four five and you have to uh, visualize and analyze all the ligands one by one so if you will sort it then with the least value Values, then you have the uh, least one at the top and you can analyze it very easily you can save the results in pdb file with the help of gold here we have the limitations of docking tools that why what limitations we have for autodog 4 autodog vena and gold so here we have one big limitation for gold gold is commercialized and needs to be purchased for working it is a big limitation to use gold after that we have this uh, table and uh, in this table yeah like you can see gold is commercially available software and you have to pay for that.